Happy Juneteenth, everybody. This is a holiday that commemorates the day in 1866 when recently liberated slaves in Galveston, Texas, got together in the one year anniversary of their emancipation and started a celebration that created a tradition that spread across the country. We only commemorated it as a federal holiday, though, a couple of years ago. So what are we celebrating today, actually? Here's what I think it is, or at least it should be. It's the progress we have made as a nation since then. That's what we need to be celebrating today. While we were a nation that was founded on freedom, and yes, we did have slavery at our founding, the point is today, America is the quintessential nation on earth where you can get ahead no matter your skin color, no matter where your parents came from, no matter how long your last name is, you get ahead in this country based on your own hard work, your own commitment, your own dedication. That's the American dream. So I think the thing we ought to be celebrating today isn't just looking in some rearview mirror 160 years ago and flogging ourselves. Part of what we ought to celebrate is how far we have come as a country. That's what makes America great. But I think that if we're also being alert to making sure that we don't repeat those same mistakes again, we have to spot them in the present. It is easy to condemn slavery 160 years ago today. What's harder is to spot and be careful about the risks of making those same mistakes again. We now teach young children across the country in our public schools to see themselves on the basis of once again, the color of their skin, teaching children that they're either oppressors or oppressed based on their race, creating quota systems in the workforce and college admissions based on, again, the color of your skin. This is the modern form of psychological slavery. I think that is a dangerous form of slavery that we have to wake up to today, one that teaches young Americans that you are limited by what you can achieve in this country based on the color of your skin. That rejects the progress we have made. I think it rejects creating a new form of psychological slavery that we will regret 160 years from now. I think that's the lesson we need to remember today. I know that's a little bit uncomfortable to say, just as it was uncomfortable 160 years ago for people to speak out against the social traditions that prevailed in their era. But that's what true courage means, not just saying what everybody else believes to be obvious in criticizing people 160 years ago, but to celebrate the progress we've made, and most importantly, to call out the hypocrisies that exist in the present. We're not a country that should discriminate in any direction, no matter your skin color. That's part of what it means to be an American. And that too is part of what I think we need to celebrate today on Juneteenth, emancipating ourselves from the new psychological slavery that the new orthodoxy imposes on Americans of every skin color. I say, let's declare independence from that. Let's emancipate ourselves from that. That's part of what we ought to celebrate today as well. Thanks a lot.